Hello there, lovely viewers. Hope everyone is well and enjoying their daisy. Sometimes when you get back from a day of hard work, you want to sit down at the PC and jump onto your favorite daisy server. However, sometimes it doesn't go according to plan. You'll get some crappy message that comes up saying that some mod isn't working for some reason or another. And no matter what you try, you can't seem to be able to connect to the server. Today I thought I'd go through this procedure uh, to give you a better understanding of how the mods are actually installed on Daisy and how you can reinstall them to be able to connect. So one thing that is uh, worth taking into consideration, as it is important, is the type of launcher that you're using to get into Daisy. There seems to be two which uh, people use, depending on their preference. You've got the original Daisy launcher and you've got the Daisy SA launcher. Both of these are using the same source of mod, um, which is downloaded on the Steam Workshop, but they create their own links pointing to that mod. Let me explain. So in this example, we're gonna be going to your Steam library. By default, unless you've installed it differently, it's gonna be on your C drive, in your program files, under Steam, and then you've got your Steam apps, and in here you have your common folder, which is where your games get installed and you also have your workshop folder. So if we go into our common folder, we're gonna find the game which is installed, which in this case is Daisy. And in here, you'll see two folders. Now you might not be able to see the workshop folder uh, because it's a hidden folder. So to do that, you click view at the top and make sure that hidden items is ticked. And we now have two folders. These two folders are created depending on which launcher you're using. So if you've never used the Daisy SA launcher, you're not going to have this folder. Um, likewise, the Daisy launcher will always create this folder. <clears throat> if we open up this folder, you can see that in here we have all of the mods which you've used and downloaded whenever you've connected to a specific server. Now, obviously, not all of these mods are being loaded on every single launch. Um, some servers may only have like two or three, some won't have any, some might have a mod which is just specific to a map like Deer Isle for example. Um, now when, when you are actually uh, opening this folder, you're actually, it shows us the path as being here. So program files, common, daisy, workshop and the name of the mod folder. The actual files however are not actually here. So if we were to go back let me explain, try and explain because it gets a bit complicated. Um, you have your workshop folder. Inside here, if you go into, inside your content directory, you'll have these directories. Um, typically, depending on how many mods or Steam Workshop mods you've downloaded on games, you may have hundreds of folders here. You might just have one. Um, the 221100, that is the DAISY um, game. So in here, you have all of these numbered folders. Each one of these numbered folders is one of the mods that has been downloaded on Steam. Um, they're not named anything, unfortunately, to make it a lot easier for you. So what happens is when you load the DayZ launcher up and you click on a, a, a server to join, it lists you all of the mods which are on that specific server. If you don't have the mod downloaded on Steam, um, it will come up with a subscribe button. And when you sort of hit the setups, it would download that mod, set it up for you, and then you'd be able to launch into the server using all of the mods that are listed here. Assuming that all of them are green, you're good to go. Um, what that's doing in the background though, is let's say that there was a mod that was missing. It's going to tell Steam to download it. Steam will then create a folder here based on the ID of the actual mod that has been downloaded. And then after that, when you try and launch the server, it will then create a link in here pointing to the um, mod name, so at whatever the mod is, and that is pointing to that numbered folder under the Steam Workshop. So what tends to happen, or what a lot of people tend to do, is they go, right, I'm going to delete all my mods and start again, or this mod's not working, um, it's coming up with a PBO error or something. I need to delete the mod and start again. If you just select the folder, for example, this one, uh, and I happen to know that this folder 
is called this ID. So let me open up another folder quickly here. And I'm going to go to my Steam Workshop content inside the DAISY folder. I'm going to find the folder name, which I know it is. Okay. This is the Steam, the, Z, the Zeroy Fishing Mod. Okay. If I go in here, showing the same thing, except here when you're looking at it, it's pointing to this directory. Whereas in reality, it's inside the Steam Workshop content directory. So if I go in here and I just say, right, I want to get rid of that mod and I just hit delete, right? The folder's still there. It hasn't deleted the content of the mod. The mod is still downloaded on your Steam to its local um, directory, which is in the workshop mod, uh, workshop folder. So it would still be somewhere in here, okay? So what happens then is you go and go to the Daisy launch and you say, right, and you go join and it comes up and you say set up and stuff. All it's doing then is it's going to recreate the folder. So if we were to go to mods and find the Zero Fishing, uh, I can do the same thing by hitting repair here. It's now recreated the folder. It hasn't actually downloaded anything new. It's just created the folder pointing to whichever folder it was under your workshop content folder. Okay, a bit confusing, I know. So if you wanted to re-download that particular mod again, the easiest way which I do it, so let's say that um, it depends on the type of error that you're getting in DayZ. Um, if you're getting an error saying that the server has a, a newer version of the mod than you do, then that's literally just a case of your Steam hasn't downloaded the latest update to the mod. And the easiest way to do that would be just to close down your Steam, not just to hit the X button on it, but literally to exit Steam down at the bottom and then load Steam up again and it would download all of the mods which have been recently updated which haven't been downloaded they don't download typically when you have daisy launcher or another game open so usually it's a lot easier just to close down steam which closes down your get your daisy launcher etc etc and when you load up steam again it will synchronize and download the latest version that should fix the issue that you get where it says the server version is more up to date than the client version that you have if however you're getting pbo errors and you're not sure what's going on and stuff um, the first step i do would be to go into the actual zero the mod folder that you found, select everything and just nuke it. Okay. Um, now what's going to happen is if you go back into your Daisy launcher and you find that mod, okay, and there you click repair, what that's doing now is it's telling Steam to check that folder which was in here to make sure that it's the same version as the one that's on the Steam Workshop. If it's not, it's just going to download it again. At that point, when you go into here, you've got the latest version. This version, again, is pointing to whatever folder on here, uh, this folder. So again, right? So if I delete it from here, you can see that it's gone in the actual workshop of Steam. Hit repair. Boom. It's going to say downloading it again. It's downloaded it in its original folder. And the linked folder, which is pointing to that folder, is now up to date. Now, the same thing applies for the DAISY SA. Um, you have another folder in here, and it looks like you've downloaded all the mods again. You haven't actually downloaded the mods again. All it is is it's another link, a linked folder pointing to your workshop folder. Yeah. So this folder in the DAISY SA here is pointing to here. So you only have one location where you download the mod, which is on the Steam Workshop uh, content and then 221100 for DAISY. And both of those locations, whether it's on the DZSA folder or the launcher folder, not the launcher, the workshop folder, they're both going to be pointing to this location. So again, if you just delete the folder from here, you're not actually deleting the mod. You're just deleting the reference to it for that specific launcher. And all that's going to happen is when you go in, it's going to recreate that link and it's going to point it back to the files which probably are corrupt or not downloaded or not updated or something on your local machine. Now, if you wanted to get rid of all of your mods, um, a lot of people will just select everything from the folder and just hit delete. That's not going to do it. All that's going to do is it's actually going to break whatever launcher you're using because then you're going to start getting all of these um, icons appearing here because it's saying that the folder which it's looking for, which is in this its own directory, isn't there anymore, so it doesn't see the mod. So you'd have to go through each one and hit repair, which would recreate those directories. 
if you want to remove the mod totally from your machine and then reconnect again and you want to do it the the, the way the official way through one of the launches you can do it uh, you can literally just right click on the the mod and just hit remove mod you're going to get an, a message coming up uh, i chose a bad mod let me choose one which is has no dependencies so you just do this it's going to come up and say there are mods dependent on this i can say unsubscribe it's going to remove that mod so code lock in this particular example it'll remove the link from here so it would delete the code lock one and it would also schedule Steam to remove the actual mod from your workshop library. Um, usually, again, that doesn't happen until you close down your Steam and open up your Steam. Once you do that, it synchronizes all of the mods which you're supposed to have on your computer. And if there's one which has been unsubscribed, it will just delete the folder from the workshop. Um, from, uh, from here. So if there was a, a mod which you've unsubscribed through the launcher, when you close and restart Steam, that folder would then be deleted as well. Same thing, um, if you wanted to remove all your mods, you can click on the more at the top, unsubscribe from all Steam Workshop mods, you'd want to do that. It would delete all of the folders in the respective launcher. So if we're in the DAISY official launcher, all of these would be deleted. You'd then close down Steam, reopen Steam, and all of the folders in the workshop folder. So everything in here would all be cleared out as well. It'd all be removed. And then when you try and connect to a server for the first time, it'll download them all again. Okay. So you can, the repair option, super important um, to be able to re download files quickly if you delete them from the specific folder. So you delete these, find the mod, you right click on it repair it downloads them again removing the mod will delete the link will delete the folder from here and schedule it to be deleted from your workshop when you next update your uh, game uh, your steam so when you close down and update and open steam again it will get rid of and you have the unsubscribe to remove all of the mods which are installed locally on your machine so you you tell it that you want to remove them all you close down steam and the launcher and stuff you'd open it again and then all those files which are in here would be removed okay um, with the DAISY SA launcher, we, we use that one. Again, this one is referring to this folder. Again, pointing to your workshop folder. Um, if you delete something from one of these, you then have your mods at the top. These are all the mods. So if you deleted a file from, let's delete this one because we like deleting that for some reason. Uh, we delete them from there. We then find the zero phishing. We click the little icon here to verify does the same thing as it does on Steam. It's telling Steam to check and download the files. And assuming that it's yeah, working correctly, there you go, it's downloaded them again, okay? If you wanna unsubscribe from them, uh, you click on this one, okay? With the DAISY SA launch, I think, if you open up this folder, uh, it's done differently. This one actually opens up the workshop folder, yeah? So it doesn't open up the one which is here. It's actually taking you directly to the files. So if you're using DAISY SA Launcher and you want to nuke out a mod, you can say, right, this mod's giving me loads of uh, crappy errors or whatever. I want to get rid of it. Um, you go in. I'll choose a small file. You click this button. It takes you to the actual location of where the mod is. You select everything. You delete it. You then go back. You hit the verify. Downloads the file scan. That should clear up so many of your issues understanding how these folders are pointing to one location um, and not just deleting the actual folder names themselves, but the actual contents of the files. That's very important because it means that Steam can then verify the folders that are on your machine against the ones that it has on its servers for that mod. And if they're not the same, it'll download them again. If yours is an old version of it, sometimes when you just hit the verify, that's enough. It will say, okay, so the version you've got is old. Um, I'm going to download you the latest version. Sometimes that works, but if you're still having trouble after that, the easiest way, delete everything in the mod, re-verify, uh, it'll download the latest version. And like that, you should be able to connect. Hopefully that uh, makes sense. Uh, you might have to listen to it again once or twice. Uh, sorry if I blabbed on. Um, but I think it's important that people understand how the general flow of mods are are, are done on Daisy. Uh, 
and how they're treated through different launches. Um, if you wanted to unsubscribe from all the mods in your Daisy SA launcher, I think it's under settings and you have unsubscribe from all Steam Workshop mods. You also have the verify all Steam Workshop mods. Again, this in theory is going to tell Steam to check every single folder to make sure that you have the latest version of it. And if it doesn't, it's going to download it. However, if you have issues where uh, even after doing that or um, you're still having trouble, you can try deleting the folder manually and doing a verify and it should it should download the, the, the version again onto your local machine. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if it was helpful, please uh, drop a like, consider subscribing for more tutorials and more Daisy related content. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Have a lovely day.